Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2022. Slot 2 is based on scatter plot. It says the two plots below show data for four companies code named A, B, C and D over three years 2019, 20 and 21. The first plot shows the revenue and costs incurred by the companies during these years. For example, in 2021, Company C earned 100 crores in revenue. So 2021 C is 100 crores in revenue and spent 30 crores. So on the X axis, we see the revenue and on the Y axis, we will see the cost. The profit of a company is defined as revenue minus its cost. Next, we are given another graph. It says that the second plot so shows the number of employees employed by the company, employee strength at the start of each of these three years and the number of new employees hired each year, new hires. For example, company B had 250 employees at the start of 2021. So B at start of 2021, there are 250 employees and 30 new employees joined the company during then this year. So 250 employees and we had new hires as 30. So that is the condition, uh, the two graphs given to us. Based on it, we need to answer the questions. Considering all three years, which company had the highest annual profit? Now, these kind of questions, especially scatter plot, is very easy to answer. You need not write down the values. See, understand it. If revenue is equal to cost, there will be no profit. So the line of no profit is this, where revenue is equal to cost, right? Now, if you have to make profit, you should be on the right hand side of the line. So all these companies are making profit. This is the loss region. This is the profit region. And the farther it is from the line, let us say this value will give you a lesser profit. This value is going to give you a large profit. You can calculate it, but not need it. Now just see this example. If you take this as revenue as 90 and cost as 65, the profit is 25. But if you take this condition where the revenue is 70 and the cost is 60, the profit is just 10. So we know that like from this example that the farther it is, the more profit is the company making. So now it becomes a very simple question. You do not need to calculate any values. Just observe the graph. Now see the company D is making loss here. It is making some a bit of profit. There is no profit, no loss. And for three years, D is in loss. So D will not be the, uh, will not make that profit, right? A is making some profit here, some profit here and some profit here. Okay, making decent numbers and profit. D is making uh, no loss, so company A could be the answer. Let's see B. B is making some profit over here, no profit and some profit over here. Okay, so B is also making some profit. So definitely B is making more profit than A. If you see B is here and here as compared to A, A was closer to the lines, right? So A, B can be uh, compared uh, to each other. Now, if you see, C is making a significant amount of profit in this year, okay, and which is a very huge profit in 2021. So, C will have the highest annual profit. So, C will have the highest profit because if you see, C has the highest value from the graph. Which of the four companies experienced the highest annual loss in any of the years. So we saw the previous question about profit and loss. So we can easily say that D has the highest loss in any of the years. Which of the ratio of a company's annual profit to its annual cost measures its performance? Which of the four companies had the lowest value of this ratio in 2019? So again, we will need the profit and uh, revenue thing. So in 2019, let us mark these values. This is A, this is B in 2019, C in 2019 and D in 2019, right? Now, if you see this, it says that annual profit to its cost. 
is the performance now in this scenario like c has uh, like it is profit upon the cost c has low profits but its cost is also very low just 20 here okay d has more profits okay definitely more profits than c and its cost is also rising right b has high profits very huge amount of profit a has low profits if you see a has very low profit and its cost is high for a the profit is low but the cost is high so lowest value will happen for a so the answer is company a you do not need to calculate the values just observe the graph so a has low profit and the cost is high so a will be the answer the total number of employees lost in 2019 and 20 was the least for okay total number of employees lost how is the company losing an employee so we have the number of employees given here so we need to find employees lost in 2019 and 20 so let us say for company a this is the employee strength in 2019 this is the employee strength in 2021 the employee strength is not changing right but we are bringing new hires okay if in spite of picking bringing new hires the company strength is not changing right so that means there is a loss of employees okay similarly if you see for all companies the employee strength is like for example c also the employee strength is not changing right d also the employee strength is not changing so these three companies there is no change in the employee strength from 2019 to 21 so there is a loss right now if you look at b the employee strength is increasing right although it is making new hires but the employee strength is increasing so it will have low loss so again without making calculations just using logical interpretation of the graph you can say that it will be company b you do not need to calculate the values just use logic that the employee strength has gone up right strength has gone up there are new hires also but strength is going up that means that the loss is low as compared to other companies wherein the strength is not going up even after hiring people the strength is not going up in b there is a significant increase in the number of people so without calculating again we can answer this question also so all questions we have answered without calculation profit per employee is the ratio of a company's profit to its employee strength for this purpose the employee strength in a year is the average of the employee strength at the beginning of that year and the beginning of the next year so when we are calculating for 2020 we will calculate the average employee strength for 2020 and 2021 the employees in 2020 plus employees in 2021 by 2. So the central value will give us the employee strength which company had the highest profit per employee. So employee strength for A will be this value like somewhere close to 150 only right B will be close to this value. So we, we just need to see the central number okay. So you do not have to find the exact value again. So we can say that it is close to 405, this is 350, no need to calculate the values though. So these are the employee strengths looking in the x axis. So these are the employee strengths, we need to find highest profit per employee in 2020. So again we will have to use this graph also in this particular question. Now if you see the highest profit, C is having low profit right uh, d is having loss so d cannot be the answer right d is having loss b is having very high profit a is having good profit but not very high now if you see b has the highest profit profit is very high right and uh, the number of employee strength is decent but considering uh, c c will can also be eliminated easily because c has very low profit b versus a possibly you can try taking the ratios so a if you see the revenue is 90 and cost is so for a profit is 25 and employee strength is somewhere around 150 okay and for b the profit is 
quite high that is 90 minus 40 b the profit is 50 but the employee strength is 250 so this is 1 by 6 which is point 16.67 now this these are in some crores right so uh, you will divide by 100 so that will be 16.67 lakh per employee and if you see this is 20 lakh per employee so we get that it is company b again just by observation without even doing the calculation you could have said because b has a very very high amount of profit as compared to any other company so the answer is company b so through this explanation you have understood you must have understood that in none of the questions you had to do actual calculations just by mere observation you could have answered all the questions quite easily so graph reading is a skill if you master that skill such questions which appear to be calculation based to others would be very easy for you to solve in the exam